I talk with a lot of people. As maybe you've seen in a couple of the other videos, I have conversations with anybody, anywhere, about anything, anywhere I go. And I've always loved doing this. And I was having a conversation with a buddy of mine the other day when we went on this mountain bike trail. And he was telling me about how when he went to this different state or this different city, he was trying to have conversations with other people. And he's like, how do you do it, Caleb? I seem to get exhausted, like just talking with five people. And you're over here talking with like 15, 20, 30, 40 people on a given day. And I'm like, yeah, man, like to me, it's just easy. I find enjoyment out of it. And I know how you can find enjoyment out of it as well, too. And it's what I kind of relate in one of the past videos that it is the best way to be interesting is to be interested and the more interesting you can be is by being interested in that other person and realizing that like you can wait for your time to ask questions and just have a genuine core value of wanting to learn from other people because other people are very interesting when you take the time to sit down and listen to them and you might be like well all I hear Caleb is people just complain about their problems and I hear drama all the time and it's just like that may be true that very well could be true but the reason for you having that and that being in your life is because, and this is going to be a hard pill for a lot of you to swallow. I know it is because it was a hard pill for me to swallow until I finally did. The reason for that is because you have drama inside of yourself. And all you're doing is you're just creating that drama on the outside because you're having the drama on the inside. It's like you're playing this whole show because in actuality, as hard as this may also be to hear and to understand is you are where you are because you have chosen to be there. And I've come to realize that by talking with other people, by doing meditation, by self-reflecting, by sitting with myself and understanding my own intrinsic value and my own intrinsic worth to be able to have that understanding of, you know what, this is the thing that I can do. This is the thing that empowers me to be more of who I am. And I don't have to be allowing myself to be succumbed by other people's small thoughts and or emotions or ideas. Because a lot of the times, and the reason why I feel like you may be stuck right now too, is because you're spending time around the wrong people. You aren't spending time around big beings, around big people. You're spending time around small thinkers and small beings. And there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying that you have to leave everybody and leave everything behind. What I am saying is that you have to go find what is right for you. The only way to do that is by finding a new community. One way, and this is something that I just have come to realize, there's people that have handstand communities. I was talking to this other people too, where they have like a one wheel race up a mountain basically. And that's a whole community of like 17,000 people is what they were saying in the Colorado area. And I was like, that is crazy to me. So it's regardless of whatever interests you have, whatever topic that you're in to, you can always find a community out there that is wanting to share those same ideas or experience those same events with you. And if you want to, like, I mean, you can keep doing things on your own. I still do things on my own all the time because that's my time to think and get closer to God, the universe, the divine, whatever word that you want to use to be able to interchange that. And I've been able to do a lot more of that by spending time alone. It's is also though there and this is the kicker we do still and are social creatures so we do still need to spend time with other people we still do need to spend time interacting and playing games with others but we also still do also need to give ourselves the time to be alone and to reflect and sit in a room together. Because as a great philosopher said, Epictetus, most of men's problems could be solved if men could sit alone in a room by five minutes alone. And most of the time, nobody has the capabilities to sit alone and stare at a wall. Like I challenge you today, at the, after you finish this video, go stare at a wall. Just stare at a wall. Don't think about it. Well, I mean, think about whatever you need to think about, but like notice your mind thinking and just stare at that wall. Don't do anything else. Don't look at your phone. Don't do anything else. My buddy, he ended up doing this that I was telling you about at the beginning of the video, and he said it's been very profound. So I know that if it's been profound for him, it'll be profound for you as well, too. Thank you for watching. Videos like this are made by, possible by viewers like you. Click that subscribe button to continue seeing more videos like this.